you know, when I was growing up, it just wasn't Christmas at our house without some of my mama's eggnog. It's a tradition that I couldn't help but continue myself. And it's really very, very simple. We're gonna start by separating our eggs. And it seems as long as you have eggnog, you can always find some friends around that are willing to share it with you. It just gives a wonderful spirit of Christmas in your kitchen. I'm going to start our meringue. And while these are whipping up, I'm gonna add sugar to our yolks. And I'm just gonna whip those until they're kind of creamy. And we're gonna add a little sugar just to firm those whites up a little. All we have to do to assemble our eggnog is fold in sweetened whipped cream. Look how luscious that cream is. And always remember to take your spatula to the bottom of your bowl up and over because we want to disturb that whipped cream as little as possible. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is fold in these beautiful egg whites that we've gotten to the fluffiest of stage. See those egg whites? They're perfect. And I'm so thrilled about this because actually it's raining outside today. So there's a lot of humidity and moisture in the air and I was really concerned that my whites might not do right for me. And we're gonna do the same thing with those that we did with the whipping cream. Now if we just got real impatient and just started stirring and beating madly, this would fall on us and we want it as fluffy and light and delectable as we can make it. When I was a teenager, mother would let me taste it with the bourbon, and I thought that was really something really special. All right, we're there, and now I'm going to add some vanilla to just regular milk. I'm going to add about a teaspoon, and I'm just going to pour this in to all of those exquisite eggs. And one more time, we're going to fold. Your eggnog will have almost two different layers because after we finish this, we're gonna put it in the freezer and the top will just make this wonderful crystally beaten cream. And the bottom will have your liquid, which will be our milk and our liquor. All right, we've saved the best for last and that's the nog. And we're gonna add about a half a cup, but if you're dead set on a little bit more, add it. And my mother's eggnog continues to live. I'm gonna go ahead and slip this in the freezer now and let it get ice crystally cold. And I'm gonna wait for somebody to come have a glass with me. I'm putting the final touch of fresh nutmeg on the eggnog and I've gotten everything ready. Mm -hmm. 